Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you so much for being here. As always, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. Today I am again in my network rack in my storage room and today we are going to part two of our series of migrating from a UDM to a UDM Pro. What we are going to do today is actually the main goal or the heart of this project. Today we are going to manually upgrade the Unify controller version of our UDM Pro device, something that a lot of Unify Dream Machine owners don't even know that this is even an option. It is just like or almost like upgrading the Unify controller on a Linux or Windows based device. It is also possible on the UDM. So we are going to upgrade the UDM network controller. Once that is done, we are going to take a backup file from our UDM and import it to our UDM Pro. Now, I have done many migrations between Unify controllers, between sites, between devices, UDM to UDM Pro. I haven't done as of yet. I am going to do it for the first time with you guys. So bear with me, cross your fingers, and let's get started. Let's go over to the computer and get this thing rolling. Let's go. All right, so we are at the computer and now <clears throat> we need to actually go and do some SSH commands and do the upgrades, etc., etc. But first, I wanted to uh, uh, divert your attention to an official uh, uh, Ubiquiti knowledge base article that I am going to follow in this video. This knowledge base article is very clear. They give you the actual commands you need to enter in order to get the update rolling. We are going to do the downloads and uh, the commands together, step by step. All we have to do is to get to this a knowledge base article and I will provide the link in the description of this video. All right, so let's get going. Right now, we will need to SSH into our UDM device. But if I try to connect currently to my UDM device, you will see that the connection is being refused. We will need to go to our Unify device OS settings. We've seen this in our uh, part one video and we will need to enable SSH. We will need to set a password, make sure to set a good strong password. And confirm. All right, SSH is now enabled. So what do we need to do? To prepare our Unify controller network um, um, version that we want to uh, upgrade to. In my case, we will upgrade to 6.0.28, at least for my experiments and testings, it's, although it's new, it's stable and good, all right? So I'm very, my conscience is clear upgrading to this version. I will need to get the link to this a controller version for Debian and Ubuntu. I will not need the actual file, I will need the link. So I'll click on copy link and I'll open a WordPad file and make sure to paste it in. Now, I will do it in advance, get all the commands that I will need to follow. I want to get them ready in advance. So the first one will be to uh, get to the U uh, OS shell. I'll click on copy, go to my WordPad and paste. <coughs> What's next? This one. Click on copy, paste. Click on copy, paste. Click on copy, paste. Now, here's where we need to get to a section of the, of the process that we need, the link that we have copied here. And we will need to replace this one with the actual link. Okay, up until now we've gone to the OS shell, we've switched to the TMP folder, 
we've looked around with the ls command to see what's around we want to make sure to uh, uh, remove this file which is the current version of the unify controller this command will download the uh, 6.0.28 version let's continue this command will actually get the uh, the controller sorry i think no we need to advance to this one this command will actually install the correct version that we've downloaded and this command will remove uh, uh, the sysvnt uh, uh, all dead now this is what uh, unify uh, ubiquity themselves are uh, uh, mentioning is the correct way to do this process on a UDM and UDM Pro. All we have to do is follow this uh, uh, knowledge base article and let's start. First of all, let's SSH in and let's start with the first command. Paste it in, great. Paste this one in. Great. Let's make sure that we do have the file that uh, uh, um, Unify, uh, U sorry, Ubiquity is aiming for. And step eight: verify that there is that there. Uh, 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 if there is any previous installation files present in the in the directory, and delete them if applicable. So. I have not seen any, but just to make sure, I will follow this step. Just to make sure. Okay, I'm getting a cannot remove because there isn't any previous version. That's fine. All right, now for the actual downloading of the requested version. We are getting there. That's great. And now to install it. As you can see, it's saying that it will be installing 6.0.28 over the bundled version, which is 5.14.22. It will not take very long, but we will have to wait patiently until it's done. And not only that, I really recommend after installing a major uh, application like the Unify Network Controller to reboot the UDM completely, even though it is not mentioned as a necessary step in the knowledge base article. That's just my input, my experience talking. I'm always rebooting after a major update. Let's get the, the next command ready on our clipboard. All right, seems like that the upgrade process is finished. Um, we will again uh, go through the last command and then we will update and we will uh, reboot the device. Let's paste in the last command. That's great. And if I remember correctly, issuing a reboot command will actually reboot the UDM device. Let's make sure that I'm not mistaken. We'll ping the UDM. IP address and at some point I'm hoping to see requests timing out. And if I am mistaken uh, with the command, I always have the option to log in to the web interface of the operating system and uh, uh, to click on the uh, reboot button, something that uh, we have seen in the part one video. All right, let's wait a few more seconds. All right, so seems like uh, there is no uh, reboot command. No biggie. 
we are already in the UDM web interface. Let's just click on restart device. All right, so at this point, I am going to pause the recording and I'm going to resume it once the device is uh, 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 booted back up. All right, so what happened was uh, off camera, my UDM Pro for some reason became completely unresponsive to a fact that I had to uh, power cycle it. Now, I am not sure as for why this has happened, it didn't happen with the same process on the UDM base device. But after power cycling the UDM Pro, as you can see, it's booted right back up with a, a controller version of 6.0.28. So seems like everything actually worked, but for some reason the UDM became unresponsive and needed a power cycle. Everything on the UDM seems just fine nothing no, nothing major has happened so let's uh, let's jump back in to the controller to the network controller of the udm and here's where our uh, 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 where our, the focus of our project and everything that we have done this far has led us to actually importing the backup from the UDM base to the UDM Pro. Let's do it. Let's go to the settings. And this is the new settings that is on by default on this controller version. For now, I am going to stick with the classic settings. I'll go to backup and let's upload our latest backup version from the UDM and let's hope everything's everything is uh, 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 will run smoothly let's confirm and cross our fingers as I said in the beginning UDM to UDM Pro migration is something that I've actually never uh, uh, never done before never had the need so uh, we have done everything in our power, in our power to make sure that this uh, transition goes uh, as smoothly as possible. We have upgraded the controller version to the same version on both devices. We have made a backup uh, uh, of the UDM device. We have uh, uh, created a basic, uh, uh, basic uh, configuration of the UDM Pro, just so that we will have something to restore to locally if some things go wrong and we might, we might still use it or need it. And now we have uploaded and we are trying to restore a UDM backup on the UDM Pro. Let's hope that this time the restart will go and we will have a UDM Pro loaded with all the settings that were existing in the UDM device. Again, no need to wait for this uh, process. I will, I will pause the recording right now and uh, uh, resume it once this process is complete. All right, so the UDM Pro has rebooted with the new settings and now it's time to log in and see if the restoration is completed successfully or completely corrupted our UDM device, our UDM Pro device. Let's launch the network controller. And let's see. I also, I, right off the bat, I see that I have switches that are not online because they are still, uh, um, I, I'm still connected directly to the UDM. I haven't, co I haven't connected the rest of the house to the UDM Pro, but that's a good sign. <clears throat> here you go, my devices uh, are all here. Let's see about settings. I will go back again to the classic settings. And let's see our site. 
Let's see our networks, that's great. Let's see our wireless networks, that's great. Let's see firewall rules. That's great, that's indeed my firewall rules. Let's see that all of them are there. Yep, everything is fine. Threat management settings as well. Let's see port forwarding. All right, everything is there. Looks like the restoration has went just fine. Everything has been migrated just as expected. And I can call this migration from UDM, <clears throat> sorry, to UDM Pro a successful one. So that's great. So did you guys uh, 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 enjoy this video? Have you uh, uh, maybe done something differently? Do you have any other methods that I am not aware of? Please let me know in the comment section below. I always love to hear feedbacks and ideas and suggestions and even critics, uh, uh, critical uh, comments where I maybe pointed to uh, mistakes I might, I might have done. So please let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.